how's it going everybody this is always back with another video on the channel today i will show you how you can set up a linux operating system for web development now the reason i am making this video is because i just set up my linux operating system for web development and i realized that installing node and some other packages were very tedious because i had to go to the original documentation find some command from stack overflow and then paste that to the terminal and then that package will install now that's very tedious in this video i'm going to show you snap crafter which is a really nice command line utility that you can use to install softwares in your Linux operating system whether it's Debian, Ubuntu, PopOS once you install Snapcrafter you should be able to install any package available in their library and they have a really vast uh, amount of softwares available that for example Android Studio, Android SDK uh, you got Node, you got some you know Flutter you got .NET, you got Java, you got Python, you have a that so everything is is basically ready to go all you gotta do is just uh, copy a little uh, command or basically a version from snapcraft or paste it to your terminal and then it will set up your package automatically so let's go to the linux distribution and i'll show you how you can set up node use and we we'll take a look at some other packages available in that okay so it's going to make your life very very easy once you want to uh, use linux as a development machine so let's get started i will take you to my linux operating system and i'll show you how to do it okay so to demo how do we use snapcrafter i'm going to use pop OS, but you can use uh, debian you can use ubuntu it's pretty much the same thing so what you need to do is go to your browser firefox or chrome and then search for snapcraft.io you go to this website and then here you got the store i'm going to open that in a new tab and i'm going to take you to a documentation the way you install it is by just typing this script to your terminal so let me just go down a bit install snapd and now it says that snapd daemon manages the snap environment on a local system so if you haven't installed it then you basically just gotta write uh, sudo app get snapd so i'm gonna open up terminal i'm gonna do sudo app install snapd and that's it once you installed that then you can go to their store so i'm going to click on the store and here i'm going to go to a, a development section so you can see i can install sublime text pycharm community addition atom pycharm eclipse android studio and if i click on see more you will notice that there's like thousands of packages available here now for example i'm going to open terminal again and i'm going to type node dash dash version so i don't have a node install it's recommending to use this uh this command but i'm not going to use that because i want to install a specific version of node so i'm going to go to store up there and i'm going to search node you'll find a package for node there there you go i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to click on here and here it shows me 10 slash stable this is the version that i can install i can install this 14 which is stable as well so what i'm interested in installing version 12. so let's click on install and if you're using ubuntu then you can click on view index of store it has like a support out of the box but if you're not using ubuntu then you just gotta copy this command okay and it's installed it's going to install version 12 for node and just paste that to your terminal i'm going to right click and paste it press enter i'm going to type the password and now it's going to do everything it's going to add this uh, node to the you know bash rc file so i can access that from a terminal and also it's going to set up the path uh, and then it basically will install npn as well so if i type node slash slash version i've got this version 
12 and if I type that's just npn and there you go we got npn as well so I've installed some snaps before so I can use this command snap list and here you can see I used a snap to install Android Studio and uh, .NET Core, a Flutter, a Node, a VLC. Now let's just say I would like to install a Visual Studio. I understand that you might be thinking, yep, it's easier to go Visual Studio and just download that Visual Studio code actually, not Visual Studio. So it's okay, you can do that as well, but you see how many steps you have to take. So what I would like to do is write a, a bash script for all the setup that I want to do for a fresh Linux. So I'll basically copy paste these commands to a bash script and then just run that script. It will automatically install Node, WebStorm, Visual Studio Code, PyCharm, Java, Python, Dart, Flutter, Android Studio. So I'll just run that script and it will do everything for me so I don't have to do anything manually. So in this case, let's just say if I want to, you know, install a Visual Studio Code. So I can go to store and that should be here. Okay, so that's the one. I can select what version that I want. So it's only the latest version available here. So let's click on install, copy this. Open terminal and I'm just going to paste that. Type the password and that's it. That's all you need to do. So sudo snap install code dash dash classic. That's about it. Now it's already installed. So now if I do snap list, I can see code there. And the good thing is I can start this code or used to the code from my command line so i don't have to go and search in the in the you know file explorer or you know open in the app launcher so i'll just type code enter and you will notice the real the code will be launching soon there you go so we got a real studio code installed now there's a lot of package that basically it can be installed very very easily using this snapcraft.io so all you gotta do is install the snap daemon and then use the script so the easiest uh, the, the the very intuitive i found is like android studio is i don't have to go and install the deb package for it and do anything you know so just go run the script and that's it don't need to worry about anything else so i would highly recommend go to snapcraft.io and have a look at what are the packages they have available and you will notice that you will find everything pretty much everything that you require for your uh, development for example if i type java here you should have like a java kind of package there or if i just have like a postgres a search and i should get postgres i think i got disconnected from my internet but anyway so there's a lot of packages here guys uh, i hope that you like this video if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one cheers